Like I'm 54 years old. I don't know what to do with my life. I'm, I'm lost. I'm stuck. I'm numb. Nothing seems to excite me. Where do I even start to like start to figure out what I want in my life? Welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to reinvent yourself no matter where you are in life, no matter what age you are, so that you can go and create the life that you desire. Let's dive in. Today, we're going to be talking about how to reinvent yourself at any age. And um, I'm going to talk about this. I was running a live earlier today, and it was for Mindset Mentor Plus, which is a community that you know, you've heard me talk about, I'm sure. Um, if you want to learn more about it, you can go to MindsetMentor.com. But Basically, I was on the monthly Q&A session, and one of the questions that was asked I thought would be really important for me to cover here, and um, I got permission from everybody to turn it into a podcast episode, so here we are. There's a question that was asked to me from a lady, and um, she was basically saying, like, I'm 54 years old. I don't know what to do with my life. I'm, I'm lost. I'm stuck. I'm numb. Nothing seems to excite me. Where do I even start to like start to figure out what I want in my life. You know, and she was talking about how she went down this road that she didn't really necessarily want to be on. And um, I think this is a really important question because of the fact that sometimes, a lot of times when I talk to people, they feel like they are too far down the road to reinvent themselves in some sort of way. You know, I've, I've talked to people that are older and they don't have any money and they want to reinvent themselves. I've talked to people that are younger that are extremely successful, some extremely successful athletes that don't want to be athletes anymore, extremely successful CEOs that don't want to run their business anymore. No matter where you are, if you feel like the path that you're on is not the path that you want to continue on, if you fast forward 10 years and you're like, I don't want to be the CEO of this major corporation anymore, or I don't want to be broke anymore, or I don't want to be doing this anymore, you can reinvent yourself at any point in time. And I don't know what happens after this life. Nobody on earth actually does. I don't know if there's a heaven and hell. I don't know if we get reincarnated. I don't know if we become worm food. I don't know. But I do know one thing that I'm sure of, and it is that I am here, and I am in this life, and I'm going to get every single thing that I possibly can from this life. You know, it's not uncommon if you're out there to feel like you're stuck. It's not uncommon to feel like you're lost, to feel like you're, you're numb in some way. Especially... If you just are listening to this podcast, you're listening because there's probably a part of you that's woken up in some sort of way. You've woken up and, and maybe it's you've woken up to parts of your life where you want your life to be different in many different ways. You've woken up to parts of yourself where you wish that yourself were a little bit different in many different ways. Because what happens is in order for us to go on this journey of self-development, of spiritual development, we have to go down the wrong road for a little while. You cannot find yourself unless you've lost yourself. And so essentially what the question is, is saying to me is, Rob, I have lost myself based off of everything that's happened to me so far in the past 54 years. How do I find myself? And that's really what it comes down to is, yeah, you've lost yourself. You probably have conditioning and patterns and uh, things in your life that you picked up from millions and millions of little tiny experiences, things you picked up from your parents, things you picked up from society. And now you've woken up and you've said, I don't want many of these things anymore. There's some of these things that I want, but there's so many things that I don't want. That's fine. You know, it's, it's okay to change your life completely to uproot everything and change it. Now, I'm not saying if you have children, just like walk out the door and never see them again. That's not what I'm saying. Take care of your responsibilities, pay your bills, take care of your children, all of that. But there's no reason why you can't make a complete 180 shift no matter what your age is. I don't know what excites you. I don't, I don't know what's important to you, but you have to actively search for it as much as you possibly can. If you don't know what you love, to do, or if you don't know what your purpose or what your passions are, find it. You are in control of your search. That is one thing that you are absolutely in control of is your search. There's a lot of things in this world you're not in control of, but you searching for the thing that you want to do in this life is something that you're in control of. If you don't know your purpose right now, it's okay, but it's not okay to wake up every day and not search for it if you are now aware that you don't know what your purpose is. Don't become a victim of your circumstances or your age. I don't care your circumstances. I don't care your age. I don't care how old you are. I don't care if you're 60 years old, 
you graduated at 22 and you've been doing the same thing for the past 28 years. And now you think, well, I've been doing it for 28 years. I might as well just continue doing it until I die. You know, you've been doing it for 28 years. Let's say that you're 60 and you want, you, let's say you live to 90. That would be amazing, right? That's another 30 years. So you're telling me you're going to spend the next 30 years of your life doing what you don't enjoy, doing what is not your passion because you've been doing something for 28 years? When you put it in that perspective, it sounds really stupid, doesn't it? It does. So change. Do something different. Move. You're not a tree. You can do something different. And the important part of this is right now you've woken up and you've realized that there's parts of your life that need to change. And inside of that part that you need to change, you're, all of that encompassing is your comfort zone. And so getting out of your comfort zone is the most important part of all of this. Repeating the same routine without trying new things is going to make you stagnant. Usually when I talk to people and they say they feel stuck, I usually ask them, when's the last time you did something new? And it's almost always a long time ago. It's almost always like years ago. When was the last time you did something that was completely out of your comfort zone? Went to a place that you've never been to before. Talked with people and, and went to a concert of a, that, that you, don't, you don't know of or you don't enjoy. And then you went to a different place. Like when's, when's the last time you played a new sport? When's the last time you went to a class to learn how to play a, play a, a musical instrument, play guitar, play piano? When's the last time that you decided to go to a pottery class? Stop doing the same thing over and over again. To, if you haven't found your passion... It's because you haven't been searching for it. You know, you stop searching for your passion like back in 1984. I'll give a, an, an example, and I know my mom's going to be okay with it, but I'll give you an example for my mom. My mom, uh, like five years ago, was telling me that she feels lonely and she just wants someone to get into a relationship with, and she wanted a partner. And um, and, I, and my mom, you know, she would she has her house that's in Florida. And she has work. She's a realtor. And then my sister has a small farm and they took the barn in the backyard and they converted it into a one bedroom that my mom also stays at as well. And we were having this conversation in the, the one bedroom in the backyard. And I was like, yeah, well, the reason why you haven't met anybody is because you're not putting yourself out there. You know, you're doing the same thing. You're going home, you're going and working, and then you're coming up and going to Sarah's house and you're hanging out with the children, which is all great and fine. But I promise you this. The man of your dreams is not going to come into your daughter's front yard, walk into the backyard to where the little farmhouse is, knock on the door and be like, uh, excuse me, I'm looking for the love of my life, <laughs> right? So he's not going to be here. You have to put yourself in places that are different for you in order to find that person. And so what's awesome about my mom? She decided to put herself out of her comfort zone. She started to ask herself, like, what is it that I love to do? And my mom loves dancing. And I don't even know if she's ever taken dance lessons her entire life. But she's like, you know what? I'm going to try to start doing some dance. And so she went to a place that's literally like a three-minute drive from her house. She started doing dance lessons. She started to, to, you know, meet new people. She started to put herself out there. And she got out of her routine, which is the important thing. She got out of her routine. My parents had divorced uh, like 23 years prior to this conversation. And so she had been in some relationships and dating and stuff like that, but never found like her dream guy. And I was like, you got to put yourself out there. So she started putting herself out there. She started doing stuff and she started asking herself like, what do I love? Well, I love to dance. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take some dance classes. I'm just going to meet some new people. And then she started taking dance classes. She got some new friends. And then she started going on dance dates with her friends and going out and dancing and meeting new people and all of this. She started meeting new people and started getting more comfortable being out there and getting out of her normal, typical work and eat and sleep routine and then go to my sister's house routine and all that stuff. Started meeting new people. A couple years ago, she goes to a friend's party. She ends up meeting a guy there. And my mom gets married at 71 years old to a guy that she's just completely in love with, which is amazing. That's all I've ever wanted for her is to find somebody.